Drew 357. Well, looky what we have here. It's a baby. In this case, a baby Browning. And we're going to take a look at it today. This gun is chambered in 25 ACP. And for those of you that might not know, that would be this bullet right here. The second from the left. The first one here is a 22 bullet. That's 40 grains. The 25 ACP, which is 50 grains. And then you've got your 32 auto, 60 grains. And then you've got your 380 auto, 90 grains. For those of you that might not know, the grains is the size of the bullet. So anyhow, we're going to take a look at this gun. Um, first we'll see it's not loaded. You can see there when it's on safety it will not let you open this gun. You see when it's loaded and it's cocked you can see that little that shows that the hammer's back and when you let it go it disappears. So it's a loaded chamber indicator. Here's the reset. Hear the click. We'll take a look at the other side of this gun. You can see it says right on the barrel, caliber 6.35 millimeter. That would be the 25 ACP round. There's some nice serrations here on the back of the slide so that you can grab them to chamber another round or put the first one in. And the magazine on this gun, it's a little tough to get out, but it has a clip here. This holds six rounds, and then you can put one in the chamber. And the gun will not fire unless you have a magazine in it. As you can see right now, I can cock it, but it will not, it will not bring that firing pin back. But once you put the magazine in, it will. So here's how you take the gun apart. First you take the magazine out. You lock the slide back in the safety position. You rotate this little barrel around. This is your recoil spring assembly. It's a striker fired, fired pistol. So this is how you pull this out. And this is your, your firing pin right here. That spring came out of there, but this is supposed to stay right inside there. And your barrel slides out right there. That's it. This gun has the serial number right on the barrel. 236591. I believe that tells you that this gun is made in 1961. Alright, so now we're going to put it back together. Uh, we go ahead and get our barrel, slide it in this way, and rotate it around so that these serrations right here are facing up. Then we put the striker back in. It's important to not get too much lube in here because this can cause. Um, light primer strikes and sometimes the gun won't even fire if you get too much lube in there. And you get your recoil spring, this end facing out, put it right in here. And let's go ahead and try to put the gun back together. Rotate the barrel around. Up. Oh. Remember what I said about the clip. And then you can load it. And some people might want to carry it in the safety position. So if you put it there, it will not fire. So a neat little gun. You can see the end of the barrel there. It's it's not a very it's kind of a squared off gun. It's got a lot of hard edges, but I think that's what makes it so beautiful. You see right there it says Browning Arms Company, made in Belgium. And again, there's the serial number right there, 236591. Just really nice bluing on this gun. And this is the original case that it came in. It's not in very good shape, but it's such an old pistol. And that's how they'd sell them in the box, just like that. I also wanted to show you a holster that I've used before with this gun. This is Jackson Leatherworks. They make some really fine products. You can pretty much put that right in your pocket. Um, some people say this is a good gun for a vest pocket. 
So most vest pockets, you could probably fit that gun right in there. And this is made so that when you pull it out of your pocket, the only thing that comes out is the gun. So anyhow, again, I've got ballast all over here. If you ever had a really dirty gun, you could use the squirt gun version here, the spray bottle. This is the one I use most of the time. And I showed you these bullets. And um, yeah, so this is our last look at the, the baby browning. And we will also get out on the range and shoot this and see how far away we can get it to hit some steel. Drew 357, checking out.